Hello, and welcome to our Happy Island video thing. These reality studio folks are who we have to blame for Big Brother. I'm not sure that's true at all. Nope. It's a true fact. That's not true. Therefore, it's neither of those things. Hey, Manhattan's a pretty noisy place, but apparently it's quiet. And Cyril Smith scanning the airwaves with his intergalactic scanner. Of course. Because everyone has one of those. And also, he's at, he was at a desk in the last shot, wasn't he? And now he's like... I think that was like a... I don't know. Yeah. Being a superhero, he says, Cyril knows what to do. Because he has... He finds uh, his hoverboard and pellet gun out of a million rulers. Because a, a pellet gun with, is going to work. He measures a serial sci-fi And a headset. Yeah, and apparently, it doesn't mention it in that intro scene, but he, that apparently that's a two-way VR goggle. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means AR, like you can see through it, but it also projects. But it's just, two, two, to me, two-way goggles are glass. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's play serial sci this, this is possibly... Possibly the first game I ever bought. Possibly. You're probably right, actually. <laughs> yeah. This is a uh, super old DOS territory we're talking here. Yep. And it's uh, I seem to remember that things like the, uh, the the soundtrack and stuff were a big hit. It was a hit record amongst us <laughs> young salad. <laughs> amongst us with the first game we ever owned. Yeah. So not really much comparison. We would have owned games. No, we we have, well, it was a big hit in the DOS land where. Things tended to sound fucking terrible in DOS, and we were used to awesome shit like Atari and Amiga. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Relatively awesome. And then, awesome and then, if you like chip. <laughs> and then we like, stumbled upon a game that actually had sort of, you know, sound. I, I would, like, I'm tempted to try and go through the instruction screen. The problem with the instruction screen is that for some reason this screen runs extremely fast. I guess because it's not showing anything, but what, like, if you try to move up and down, it's like whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, okay. Is that just because of one? Yeah, it's just sort of like how it's. Yeah. I think this game is quite reliant on like CPU, so it's quite oh, easy right. to have it run at really bad speeds. Okay, so st stuff might go wrong. Yes. Is what you're saying. Stuff may. Go although, wrong. although we're running this in DOSBox, right? So presumably your DOSBox configuration is catered for it. Well, I've got it running in a way that I think is right. Okay. So it seems to work mostly in the game just fine. Okie dokie. Here's a quick recap. See, two-way VR goals. Here's mm -hmm. a quick recap of the story, in case you missed it. Also. Mutating. I suppose AR wasn't really a term anyone had come up with at this point, no, right? I suppose not. How difficult are we going to play it in the Doom style with their hilarious bear puns? Barely a hero. Unbear. Uh, well, you've used bear twice in the same style. It's like I'm not sure I am, I'm on board with this pun anymore. I guess so. They did at least put the inverted commas around it. Barely a hero. So you could, <laughs> so you could, so you could really see it. Also, Although it would look weird, it would look a little bit weird without the commas actually because you know it's obviously spelt wrong. Yeah, but. and also Teddy's picnic, not Teddy Bear's picnic. <laughs> they had an opportunity to use Bear free dive. Well, yeah, but would Bear be just a bit too long? Or would it actually just be too wide for the screen? Yeah, probably. To That's probably why it's that. <laughs> Play on the Unless Teddy Bear's picnic is trademarked or something. Obviously, the alien scout ship lands in Central Park, completely conspicuous. Yeah. So, he'd, I don't, I'm not sure he needed his scanner, right? The military would have been all over this at this point. <laughs> if I landed in Manhattan, about a million people would have seen it. Okay, let me remember what my controls are. Okay. Also, I'm just going to start with this, but this game has the best duck animation you've ever seen. Alright, alright. Ready? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then this. <laughs> 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 Obviously, you can still completely skate around on the hoverboard whilst bent over at the knees. <laughs> yeah, it's like 100% 90 degrees. Like, that's, that's what it looks like, right? He's, 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 he's like leaning into the background. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, does, it, does it look like that from both angles? Well, yeah, because it's a flip sprite. Well, they actually made him... Okay. Like, they made him change hands yeah. when you turn, which is kind of cool. And, and, and actually flipped the CC. A bit of me was worried there for a second. It's not just a mirror. Yeah. All right, fair play. They actually did some, some, some artwork there. Okay, so they were hovering teddy bear heads. Yep. Better watch out. Better shoot them in the face with your pelican until they explode. And the, uh -huh. <laughs> even those are mutated to mutated. <laughs> mutated teddy bears. So you got those mysterious like uh, like up blocks that are actually in the background, but 
What do you mean? Oh, you yeah. Mean the ones that you can pass through in one direction. Yeah, I mean, they're well, in the that's background. Theo. It's a classic mechanic. Of course, Theo. Yeah, that, that's it's fine. It's just the way they look is a bit odd. All right, so what, what what's the the red stuff we're picking up? Uh, the red things are ammo. That red one was a key card, honestly, because okay, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's an 80s slash 90s game. It's in the, well, it would have been 90s, right? Yeah. It's, it's, in, it's in the key card slot. It's in the key card continuum of Doom. Here's the key card door. Open it. Why shoot it? <laughs> Why you have the key card? Oh, shit. I'm going to be in. Well, so you're picking up a lot of bees, but your bee bar isn't going up very much. Well, yes, because you can pick up quite a lot of bees. <laughs> quite a lot of bees. Out of the way. Just like the bit, like that guy from Zelda, you know, the bee guy. Just get all the bees. No, it's not the bee guy. B stands for booster. Okay. Which means you can, well, basically, so obviously you have, you have your jumping capabilities. Dude with laser nose. Yep. You have your jumping capabilities, but you can also just float, which is your booster. Okay. Which really is like, the only time I ever intentionally use it really is to go back if I've, if I've missed something. Uh, okay. Like secrets for something. <laughs> Pure. <laughs> it's quite dramatic, right, it's okay. Maybe I was wondering how many of these samples are actually just sort of like sta like standard samples back from the mod era. Well, I, like... I would say practically all of them, probably. Yeah, and like, and I'm sort of like here, so like, I'm sort of thinking to myself, actually, you know, how many of these did I ended up end up using? Like, probably not that many because they were probably they probably in this game weren't in a file type that you could extract. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike no, some, no, some could... other games that you use sound effects from in your music a lot. And do they really use them a lot? Like, yeah, sure. At one point, I ripped off. The, the the XM files or whatever or mod files from Spin. Well, it wasn't just your music. I we managed to get those it was to work. Our games that we made. Oh yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we gave sound effects. Oh yeah, we took we turned in like the um the entire sound library to Star Wars Pod Racer. Yeah. Was just in WAV. And, <laughs> so it's, and Wetrix, obviously. Oh, and Wetrix, yeah. The, so the some, some good samples from Wetrix. There were some. Oh, I'm trying to think who the who the developer was, but there was like a developer we quite liked. I think. Was it Small Rockets or... No, maybe not Small Rockets. Small Rockets did the kayaking thing. Yeah. Well, we, I think we used those samples as well. Red Baron. Yeah. Yeah, well, it wasn't those guys, but there was one guy that, that, that did a sort of shooter thing that did made up... Do you remember the samples we ended up using for... This is all... The, 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 the <laughs> listener's really not going to care, or well, watcher is not going to care about this, but, like, Death, Death Ender. Yeah. Like, a lot of the samples for that came from this, like, uh, 3D-ish... 3D presented like 2D shooter game, mm -hmm. like I mean shmup, I suppose, like a weird sort of yeah. It was a cool game. Made it whatever it was. I think it got remade at some point and re-released on something. Like it might have got ended up on PS3, whatever that game was. I had a giant spider boss at one point. Like mm. yeah, because like every game has a spider boss. All I remember is Piranha. Which I think we probably oh, yeah, also yeah. used from at some point. No, actually, I couldn't. I, I tried, but I, I'm not sure I could get. I'm not sure I could get the. Uh, they could get ripped the instruments from that. Good soundtrack, though. Piranha. Yeah. We should play that at some point. Because we we're talking all over Serial Cyberpunk here. We're not actually talking about Serial Cyberpunk because you're just. Well, platform. what is there to talk about? Yeah. I mean, I mean, what are those furballs supposed to be in, like, in like an alien teddy bear ship? Well, I mean, they mentioned it later, but you know, it's no, just like yeah. all these, all these things are horribly mutated teddy bears due to biological experiments on their home planet. You're picking up this ammo, but have you got nothing to use it? Or? Well, I, I picked up the second gun, but I'm using the first one gun until I have like full ammo, essentially. Because okay. <laughs> really, the enemies on this level aren't that much of a problem. Wait, I think I'm going to check the other way first. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I did. Watch out for the cargo grains. Chunk chunk. Chunk. They have a nice little red dot to tell you when it's dangerous. Mm. Down, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. oh, that's a problem. <laughs> and they kill you real fast. Yeah, the cargo grains do a lot of damage. Also, these things are out of sync. That's really annoying. We have to wait for them to be in sync. That real quick. Also, I haven't been using it, but there's, you can actually go even faster than this. <laughs> there's a button to go even quicker. Which, uh, oh, that's, oh, that's your mind. <laughs> <laughs> well. Virtually impossible to control when you're doing yeah. it that fast. But at least you do get a nice sort of like. Can you dodge any of that fire? Like, can you duck it or. Not that one. You okay. can duck the laser nose dude's okay. shots. 
the, the, the crotch cannon dude just comes out exactly at the right height to hit you. You basically back. just sort of have to deal with it. Yep, just shoot him. I'm a bit low on health. Yeah. What difficulty did you put it on in the end? No. Alright. I'm not playing the best I could do. So, barely. Something. How much ammo do I have? 860. Let's change over to the actual first gun. Woo, 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 woo. The wibbler. Does the, does, is, so is the ammo like a standard pool then? Yeah. Well, at least for... Yeah, I think it must be. I don't really remember all the guns. I remember this gun and the blue laser, and that's it. <laughs> I know there's at least one or two more. I think there's a flamethrower that you get at some point. Hmm. Woo, 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 woo. That's a little bit helpful. Damn it. I want to kill it. Damn it, quite. <laughs> Whoa. Those guys suck as well because they jump. You can't shoot until they jump. Mm. <laughs> well, checkpoint. Checkpoint. Nuclear checkpoints, of course. Yep. So the age of nuke symbols. Where well, you explode into nuke symbols when you die. <laughs> okay. So we're sort of nuclear Mega Man. <laughs> well, you know, you're on a hoverboard or something. I wonder what that's powered by. <laughs> Fusion. Yeah, probably. Oh, so everything's sparkles. <laughs> everything's sparkles. Yeah, oh, look, you look, mean look. that death explosion? Yeah. Also, what, yeah, what is that, like, spiky bobble dude? Like, what's he, what's, what, how, how teddy bear-like is that guy? <laughs> just as mutated as the ball ones. Uh, well, the balls, the balls could be, like, just, you know, pre, um, like, they don't, like, grow like teddy bears, right? They just, like, form like that. <laughs> and then they slowly grow arms. <laughs> They're fetal teddy bears. <laughs> They've gained hair first. Of course. And eyes. And presumably a, a mad skill on the drums. <laughs> why, why? Why exactly the drums? Because <laughs> it look a bit like animal. Oh. That's what I was going with. But. Okay. <laughs> I still have a blue key card. But that might not come to that door yet. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Oh, full health. Oh, Which would suck exactly if we got all the way to the door and then had to go all the way back. Wait, I think this might be another secret. Yeah, that you have to it. duck to get oh. through. But you can see a, a hand sneak through. A life! I'm assuming your face is alive. Yep. <laughs> the, you, you, the traditional. You can just get a face point. I don't know, you're not doubling back on yourself just yet. <laughs> kind Although of the arrow is saying go up. Sure. So I probably am doubling back on myself. Well, there's bombs. I don't even know what button bomb is. Oh, that's probably oh. where I was meant to go then. Wait, so there's a whole route where you don't need the key card? Apparently. Huh. Speed run. <laughs> well, I don't know when I got that speed card, so I don't know how much speed card. Key card. So I don't know how much level you'd be able to skip by doing that. Oh. Well, screw that guy there, I guess. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to fall on all these enemies. Wait. Go. Nope. See, that's why you have the booster, in case you fall down slightly too far and you want to go back up and see what's up there. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, indeed. Those bombs like smart bombs. Yeah. Oh, that's the end of the first level. It has the Doom-style door. Yeah. Outer cargo hold. It's interesting you start on the inner cargo hold. Yeah. And then you go to the outer cargo hold. <laughs> Not sure quite that's in the right order, exactly. Or is it like is it called inner because you're effectively going to the inner of the car and then you're coming back out again? <laughs> well, the thing is, after this, you go to the edge of the room, so it's just like yeah. You go right to the outside of the other side of the car. Right? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> These inefficient cranes. It's like a waste of their precious space fuel. <laughs> what the cranes that don't pick anything up most of the time? Yeah. Not sure their space fuel is that precious. Also, how much cargo are they really like? Is it, who are they trading with? Well, I guess this is the first level where you get actual enemies. What? I mean, you haven't been facing enemies already. Well, you know, you get all these dumb enemies that just walk backwards and forwards. But this is the first level where you get enemies that can be, maybe be considered an actual threat. Yes, yes, yes. Which are the spacesuit teddy bears. We'll be seeing shortly, I think. 
And also, there's a boss in this level as well, now that I think about it. There's a boss every few levels, isn't there? Well, yeah, every couple, I guess. In a traditional. Oh, style. they are the end of a theme or something. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, red key. Two mm, dance. 90s piano synth. Yeah, it's <laughs> one of the sound effects that doesn't work quite as well. That's hot. Come to me, left. More mines. The mines seem the most pointless. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like good luck ever using them in any useful way. It's mainly because it's just like it forces you to go backwards. Mm. It's like you never want to go backwards. Always be going forwards. <laughs> Do they work in um, boss fights at all? Like just leave them and let the boss come to you? Yeah, I think you probably get. Oh, here they oh, are. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. They fire a lot of bullets. So that's their yeah. main thing, <laughs> and they jiggle around a lot in a semi-random way. So they're slightly more dangerous than most of the other crap that we've fought to this point. But is it English for some reason? It's a classic teleport sound effect as well. Yeah. Nope, there's no one. He doesn't seem to like too fussed about all this, like. Well, about anything he's seeing. <laughs> like, <laughs> about anything that's happening. You no. Know, a bit of me was all like, well, he just got like discombobulated by a teleporter, and then he's just like, you know what, actually, like, these verbal mutant monsters and laser tents. Come down here, so I can shoot you. <laughs> this is the problem with randomly moving enemies. Get down here! Because <laughs> I can't shoot up. <laughs> He can shoot down, because he has diagonal firing on it. There we go. <laughs> Some beat that is. Industrial, yo. So I can't go hold. More booster? Don't need any more booster. Full booster. Maximum boost. Oh. <laughs> it's like you can avoid those when it's play banging, <laughs> but not really because you're like, it so long to actually happen. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a pink thing down there. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunately, you have a shield. No, you're not. Oh. <laughs> Wasted I don't it. think that actually doesn't last very long. No, I wasted it getting hit. <laughs> Does it only last one hit then? No, it lasts a few. Mm. I landed directly on that enemy. And there's basically no invincibility frames mm. in this game. If you're on an enemy, you're just getting constantly hit. <laughs> oh, in the, the, the dark. No, oh, I might feel bad now. Oh, damn you! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So you get the dark up here for no particular reason. And then you just go back down again. <laughs> yeah. uh, some kind of like differentiator, like the level looks a little different so you can see where you're getting somewhere, I guess. <laughs> for a moment, yes. Oh, look at that, it a lot of shots. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I think you managed to catch all of those. Yep, most of them. <laughs> oh god, there's no one. This is why you should basically just spam ahead of you at all times as, as long as you've got plenty of ammo. Because <laughs> chances are there's probably going to be something over there. Wait, can I in? No, not up here. Hang on, Slayer. There it is. Oh, yeah. Another shield. Excellent. And some sandwiches. Good old sandwiches. What is in that sandwich though? Because there's, like, there's a different colour on <laughs> Yeah, that is kind of weird. <laughs> Is it like <laughs> it's one half lettuce, one half tomato? Yeah. Nuclear checkpoint. <laughs> this is 
fire some shots down the corridor and evade shots at those enemies, and there is. There's no like um I don't know if I should be I should be that surprised, but there's no like uh camera lean based on which direction you're travelling, it's just always perfectly centered. Yep. I mean that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, really. Like you know, a lot of modern games well, there'll be a certain amount of like elasticity to the camera movement. Well it's right? because in reality, like when the camera's like this, you're not using half the screen because you're not looking at what's behind you, you're only uh, looking yeah. at what's in front of you. Going back to that shield. Okay, okay, yeah. Because you can't pick up a shield while you've got a shield, even if it's already partially Damaged inspired. Yeah. <laughs> mines, mines, mines. See, right. that's that's the where you can tell where the edge of the level is. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the camera does stop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So how you can tell this level was made in a tile-based editor, probably. Well, I mean, I, I mean, think apart there, from I think all the obvious times. Yeah, I think there are, there are way more clues. Oh, there's the boss. Oh, you can just also it. <laughs> if you can call it a boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. It's a dude in a forklift truck. <laughs> the actual one worker in this entire warehouse. That's the lines. Well, that was quite effective. Yep. He's the one worker in this entire facility. <laughs> yeah, all the other dudes are just guards, I guess. I suppose those uh, Robo Teds could probably do something if they want to. <laughs> Thing is, is, the level's not done. No, that boss was not even quite at the end of the actual level. Although I don't think it's much better. Are we going back up into the darkness? Oh, no, oh, yeah. just the exit. Lower engine room. <laughs> See, it makes sense to go from lower engine room to upper engine room. Uh, maybe. I guess. I guess we started on the ground floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Filthy, not a guitar, guitar. With some weird stereo separation yeah. going on. It just randomly changes sides. Oh, and don't forget, weird computers. Uh, is there any point in them? Do they just make those? Oh, you can destroy them, okay. <laughs> just shoot <laughs> Not sure you even get points. I should guess I should look at my score next time I shoot one and see where it goes up. Wait, so this is just a down arrow that says go there and there's nothing there? No, well, you had to go down there to get the key card. Oh, okay. Don't forget to have the even more great animations. Oh, yeah, it's like sort of kneeling on it. It's like, that one makes sense. This one, not so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, is there any actual sort of like downhill momentum? No. Or, okay. It's a hoverboard. You just yeah. <laughs> no, I think killing the computers does give you points. It just gives you points. Yep. Because this game has points, of course. You get like five points for picking the shit up. I remember this bit. <laughs> It's also a little bit, apart from the piano sound, there's like there's a little bit of the CNCs about this bit of music, I don't know. Yeah, yes. Oh, there's a shield. Can I get it without using boost? boost? <laughs> Actual legitimate use for boost. <laughs> Your shield doesn't take the shot if, if it doesn't hit you. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, let's see what you mean. Well, I'm still at maximum that I see. It's all going well. Don't, don't. <laughs> it's like those enemies are almost the most dangerous. Because they can just roll at you and you can't shoot them. Mm. <laughs> so they can just keep hitting you. Oh, it's a floor uh. cleaner! Or new COs and identified cleaning objects. <laughs> cleaning objects. I don't know. These aluminium pipes look pretty clean. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess they do. 
Oh, so what was going on with that teleport? It's like... Is it actually just a... Apart from it going to nowhere, obviously, it looked a little bit like just like a service elevator or something. Like, you know, your meal, your meal comes out of it. <laughs> your meal comes out of it. <laughs> oh, get out of there. Boost. To get the boost. Sandwich. Oh, red key card. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> That's a solid breaking sound. But it's hovering. <laughs> is that how he actually stops this by using the ground? I guess. Hang on, let's have a look at the animation. I yeah, suppose, maybe. I suppose, yeah, I suppose he could be putting the ward down. <laughs> could be telelanding it. Oh, well, I guess I could go back and do some more of that stuff. But... Ah, okay, you can. Yep. It's, it's, it's all entirely pointless. That was immediate yeah, like, you can't. Okay. In fact, this might not even go anywhere apart from to get the yellow key card. You might have had to get the red one to get the yellow one. Nah, yeah. that's possible. But then this is a rather large, a oh, weird bit of pipe you can go through for some reason. Yeah. Jiggly pipes aren't platforms. Nope, get another, another red key card. Am I actually going to use this yellow one? Got oh, two picnic baskets. Totally don't need them. Wow, so all the, oh, okay, so that was a big health run. Yeah, apparently. You speed for a little bit. No, here's the yellow. <laughs> right, okay. Another picnic, picnic basket. <laughs> Being a bit generous with the health on this stage, after I nearly died in the first couple. Yeah. Don't mm. fall in the giant nuclear death laser or whatever the fuck that is. Oh yeah, that seems like an excessively good animation as well compared to the rest of the game. <laughs> But it's one of those like, like you almost consider it like a Photoshop effect yeah, tool guess. that was. Oh, good. Oh, we did use the red card at some point, but yeah, we did. Alpha engine. <laughs> I don't see any engines. Well, I mean, maybe those nuclear thingies are meant to be part of the engine. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was the one bit of drive core or whatever. There's definitely more of them in this level. I see. The level. I tell you what, though, those nuclear zap laser things used to scare the shit out of me as when I was a child what? playing this game. I don't know why that was like the, was the one obstacle where I was like, holy fuck, I better not get, got to get hit by that. Is this, oh, are they insta kill? Um, I don't think they are. I think they do a lot of damage, like the cranes, but mm. it's just something about like that laser zappy nuclear it's, thing. It doesn't even make a particularly uh, seem, like nasty sounding sound. No. You just got an aversion to nuclear zappers, which is probably a, a you know a fairly sensible aversion to have. Mm. Although that sound does sound a little bit like it wasn't long enough at first. It was like tap, and then it's like, oh, what do we do? I don't know. Reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Just play the zapper backwards. Tap. Uh, well, there's not teleports. No, no, no. They're just... No, they are not. That one, isn't it? I guess they don't have the one. word teleport on them. <laughs> well, yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. Later levels, you'll see some of the weird things that are teleported. Cabbages. I like how it's like, you can stand on this, but you can't stand on that. Mm. <laughs> it's just like that's a highly necessary bit of platform floating in the air, basically. Yeah, perspective. Perspective's not their strong point in this. Still look for that, right? The weird thing is that, like, say you were playing this game as a st score game, even, right. though, even though, you know, scores, even at this point of gaming, were pretty much pointless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, if you were playing this as a score game, you'd actually want to fire bullets so you could pick up the ammo, because it gives yeah, you score. Yeah, it gives you points, yeah. <laughs> Just want to fire randomly to make but, sure you're always picking them up. I do remember us doing that back in the day, going, oh, you got to get that ammo. <laughs> well, because we just, just didn't know what max ammo meant. Oh, what did I... Oh, no, I, I, I think we understood that much. Like, because the number's right there. <laughs> Unlabeled, of course. <laughs> sure, but, <laughs> it's UI. but it's sort of next to the gun. Now, if they just moved that little green bar out the way between the gun and the number, problem solved, right? Oh, yeah, I guess. If it was in the same box, yeah. you'd know what the number was referring to. Now, oh, damn you. Background texture. Must be making progress. 
Oh, red key card. Lucky I looked over there, I guess. Nope. Well, it's right there. <laughs> There's some great design there. Yeah. But well, at least it doesn't make you backtrack far if you like if you find you haven't got the yes, key. Yes, but then what's the point of even having a door with a key card? Just to be a mild annoyance, that's all. Apparently. Which is pretty much my opinion of this game at the moment, like of actual its actual gameplay. Like it's a mild annoyance. Well, yeah, it's sort of it's one of those things. As you get older, I guess you realise just how little to this there really is. You know, it's just. Well, I think I think, I think when we were kids, it's like this is like oh, this is badass. We're, we're we're on a hoverboard. And well, we're, um, and we're shooting like, to compare this to games that we played before at the time. Yeah, and we're shooting especially on DOS. And we're shooting teddy bears, yo. It's like no one likes teddy bears. Let's shoot them. <laughs> not sure that was part of our liking of this game. Oh, the nuclear not. teddy bears. What? The, what? Spring teddy bears, and they take a lot of fire. Yeah, they're quite tough. Do they actually hurt a lot, or I don't remember. <laughs> do they just explode? Logically, you would think they do. <laughs> well, yeah, logically. <laughs> but I'm not applying any logic here. There's, there's, no... there's not much to apply logic to. There's, there's no science to this. <laughs> Hoverboards. <laughs> Ranking of hoverboards. <laughs> Sorry, Jai Bob. That would be a good Actually, what, yeah, <laughs> All those games with hoverboards in the Eagles. Alright, so we've done two of them. We've got like, so I'm sorry, Mike, we've got Sonic Riders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> which, which is a higher <laughs> rank? King of hoverboards. Uh, that's actually a tough one. Yeah. And you're like, there's definitely advantages. I think. Because this one is like way more stable. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, the actual hop. We're talking about the actual hoverboard, not, <laughs> the, not the quality of the game. Like, it's. Okay, we could rank the games too. Two or uh, what metric is the ranking of hoverboards? Is, it, is this a sweet ass hoverboard or is this just a Back to the Future hoverboard without a design on it? Because that that decreases its awesomeness. Well, it's like aren't all hoverboards Back to the Future hoverboards really? Especially if they're pink, I guess. But it's true. He does have the pink shades to go with it. <laughs> Coordinated. Pink two A V R goggles. I guess. Contrasting pink and blue. <laughs> Well, it's like the rest of his outfit is just like what he was wearing at the time. <laughs> like, that's not actually... He looked at his superhero face and was like, well, I don't have a costume, right? just have a hoverboard. Yeah, well, I do have a CC t-shirt. Wearing... Yeah, I have... Wasn't he wearing something green? I guess. Oh, he's wearing pyjamas, I suppose, yeah. in that first scene. So I guess he did specifically put on these blue trousers. He's also wearing... I was about to make fun of his shoes. It's like the classically cartoon just... Nothing but white shoe, but then again, actually, I think I think I've got better shoes that look a little bit like that. <laughs> like, yes, you definitely had white trainers yeah. back in the day. But you know, with featureless white trainers. Well, there's only so many pixels you have to go, go with here. Sure. See, I think that actually opens that. Oh. Like that's actually a trigger to make that non-solid. Oh, weird. We're getting into odd territory, like in these non-active beef beds are slightly odd as well. Non-active. And there's the end of the level, just um, a in a corner. Blank square. Okay. Why isn't there, there a door? Living quarters. Slightly. They couldn't just make their bricks flat. But oh, this is. Good. Yeah, that way you get presentations. <laughs> this is quite a horrible looking level. Also, are we just killing teddy bears as they sleep? Or just their, no, do their beds just have faces on? I, I'm not sure those are even meant to be beds. It's like weird advertising. <laughs> advertising. <laughs> but we are in the living quarters. And the teddy bears like to live on floating platforms. Apparently. Yeah. Also, like, are those the names, the, like the, the, the te TED tags or something? Like, uh, across these beds, yeah. Also, we've got keys now rather than key cards. Yep. It's, it's going low tech in here. Now. Also, also, all of these are robots. So far. Also, maybe that's what we're uh, killing in the pods. What? The teleport, I guess. Oh, that's a teleporter, okay. <laughs> Stargate. Yep. That's a more common type of teleporter, that weird square with the curve on it. Okay. <laughs> Those stick around for a little longer. Um, rather design. than the big word, teleport. Yes. Which is actually the only indication that, that those things are teleporters. It's the, it's the word. The actual thing isn't the teleporter. 
Well, that green one sort of looked teleportation, I guess. The first one. I, I guess. Well, I'm not a red key. key. <laughs> Somewhat pleasingly spinning out of sync with the. <laughs> Precisely, the yeah. Uh, is there anything down here? Like, well, Arisenka was oh, a, well, a random life. Okay. <laughs> so it's like we had this little bit of extra level to work with, so we'll just shove a life down there. <laughs> it's a secret. I guess, yeah. <laughs> this is very clearly side based on secret. Don't go, don't go this way. That teleport only works if you're traveling left for no particular reason. Okay. I don't know what is that it, Oh, but the, that. No, actually, that's making sense. I was about to say, like, it could be like on the out gates that would make sense, right? To have them only perhaps one, work one way, so you couldn't necessarily accidentally just sneak back into the wall. I guess. Like, well, those two, those two aren't. That oh, must be when you pick it, based on when you pick it up, because those two aren't perfectly in sync or out of sync. They're just they're syncless. Try to get stabbed on the ceiling. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. A red card and a red door. Ow. <laughs> spikes. Yep, spikes. Did, suddenly. Did they just get a little bit bored of like... <laughs> of their living quarters. We need to level up these living quarters a bit with some deadly feeling spikes. What's... So they can throw fruit at them? For some kind of sport? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously fruit. Because <laughs> well, it would get like properly skewered. Also, no. all robots still. Oh no. yeah, we're deaf. Yeah, deaf we're deaf bottles. <laughs> Watch out for the devils, except for this one over here, which is the... The exit? Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute, I think. Yeah. I suppose that death ball wasn't turned on. Mm. Also, these things look like they should be pinball flippers. Yeah. It's a bit of a pinball flipper in S graphics. This is quite horrid. <laughs> look at the tiling! Alright, that thing's not on. So you'll notice that you shoot it and it opens the door. <laughs> Obviously! 100% obvious game design. Alright. Okay. Now. Fell through the death zone. No, no, I'm guessing, like, of course you can't shoot those ones, right? And have them do something. No. Well, here's a teleporter you can jump over to get I did a picnic basket. And something back there, I think that was extra boost. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great teleport. Also, this music's kind of guff too. It's not one of the best. It's the living quarters. It's like it's like it's just their less, casual, less dramatic. Music. It's just casual robot music, is what you're trying to say. <laughs> sure. Thirty-three mines. Oh, the oh, space an actual bear. Yep, in a spacesuit. Uh, oh. Ow! <laughs> that hurt a lot. You'll wedge oh, yourself in there. That, that, guy, that guy doesn't seem too fussed about shooting. They can fire a lot, or they can fire not at all. <laughs> it's, it's all it's kind of semi randomized. Nope. Oh, it's a baby. Murdered. <laughs> Murdered the child children. <laughs> Still don't give a crap. Nope. Cyril, he doesn't give a Cyril Cyberpunk crap, CCC. Where exactly am I trying to go? <laughs> Down, Down. Maybe? Oh, there's a red key. Red keys, okay. I'll take it, because I probably need to. Oh wait, there's a teleporter. And, and, and a thing in a bubble. Meow. Green flag of destiny. Totally necessary teleport again. Yep. Just to say, we've got teleporters, guys. We worked hard on that. Anyways. Oh, it's a big old jumpy room. Everyone loves these. Different heights of jump pads. Uh, no jump pad. Yeah. Wait, is that? Oh, Meant to be an elevator at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, yeah, and you can't just stand there. You have no, to jump, you have onto, to jump it. onto it. Oh. I'm kind of wishing we didn't go back and play this. Why? In a way, because it, it, it seems so much worse than my memory. <laughs> well, at the time, we didn't know, like, we didn't notice half this stuff because we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Uh, <laughs> I think it was half the problem. I guess 
an advocate. Mm, yeah. I mean, did we? Did I suppose you... our appreciation for games had not matured at this point. When was it? I mean, we keep saying like this, but I'm not sure we were as young as you think we were. Like, sure, we weren't incredibly young. It was after the Atari age, which makes it Leo. Yeah, it must have been like early teens or something. You know, we would have played good games. <laughs> There's four shields in here. <laughs> okay. Stock up. Come. Just means you can come back and keep getting more shields if you want, I guess. Until there's another teleporter that doesn't let you backtrack. Also, fall through the space ceiling. Okay. Oh, it's a boss. It's the boss Ooh, in the spaceship. You got, you got a bluer gun. Yes, I've got the, the, the decent gun. The one that fires real quick. And the other one fires pretty quick. This one fires quicker. <laughs> also, I like the fact that he's made his ship a recliner. Yep. He's hella hardcore lazy. Ugh, die already. Burns your ammo, this thing, though. Well, that's true. It's, it's like, it's like, is it like the uh, the the blue lasers? After oh. a long space journey, the scout ship arrives in the docking station orbiting the planet of Fluffball. Obviously. Oh, we are, we are flying? Yeah, apparently. Okay. Well, we went into the cargo hold and they took off immediately. <laughs> right, now we get the space station. This is where the tile set starts getting even weirder. Okay, so this looks like they basically just like took a picture of an actual pipe or something and actually just downgraded it. This looks all right here. A little bit, you know, out of... St okay. Yep, don't forget giant tooth platforms. Um, <laughs> Obviously. What sort of elevators are you going to have in a space although, station? Although it's not really consistent with the rest of the game, though, is it? This, look, this level looks a little bit claymation. Well, it's like, apart from the girders and stuff, it's like, there's yeah. like it's a bit random in its selection of... Oh, one-way gates. Yep, yeah, one-way gates. And some of this shit you can fall through. Yep. Oh, right. Another type of space... There. This one at least is more predictable. Doesn't, it doesn't shoot. shoot. Yeah. It just trundles back. Although it does look more like a dog, that one. <laughs> Rapid space dog. Oh, what was the name for the robot from um, Lost in Space? Uh, or was it just robot? Yeah, did it actually have a name? No. <laughs> uh, he looked a bit lame anyway. Dead danger, so it was like a fucking danger. Now, obviously, what you're going to have in your space station, giant upside down mushrooms. That also uh, act as teleports. <laughs> when they've got arrows on them, I guess. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, is it like meant to be the bio deck, I guess? Yeah, yeah, maybe. And the space dust. <laughs> yep. Bears don't eat mushrooms. Well, I guess they do. <laughs> Not poisonous mushrooms. Sometimes. They look like poisonous mushrooms. Sure. Their biology could be messed up. But why are they growing upside down? <laughs> Another question. Uh, is that where the sun's coming from? <laughs> the mushrooms don't need sun. <laughs> Do bears not understand biology because they're all robots now? <laughs> well, they, they forgot how to create mushrooms. Yeah. We'll just shove them in the ceiling, it'll be fine. Um, this is the land of teleports, in case you haven't already worked this out. We've, we've been here before. <laughs> no, we haven't been no? to that bit before. Oh, okay. They had a little tiny passage in that other zone where it's like, oh, you can go back through it with that little water. Uh, let's go back to the good gun now, I'm back to full arrow. Now we're into environmental hazards, don't fall in the pools of orange. Okay. Like, oh, okay, just <laughs> fall in it. Yeah. It doesn't actually do nearly as much damage as most of the other environmental hazards. Okay. What? Yep. Land with teleporters. Uh. Nothing but teleporters. See, this is actually harder than it looks because it's actually quite difficult to jump off to platforms. Mm. <laughs> you so have to be stationary. You reckon if Reality Studios decided to make a game based in any form of reality? Yeah. Would it? Would it? Would we have had Tony Hawk way earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that they were like hoverboard Tony Hawk. Yeah. Hobby talk. Anything down here? <laughs> Um, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it then. Choice. Leads to the same place. Cool. Also, teddy bear light bulbs. Well, giant stasis pods or something. Giant teddy bear light bulbs. And snow. We're in, we're in the snow. We're, we're in the snow on a space station. <laughs> it's the ice part of the biotech. <laughs> they want different environments. It's just the level where they just. Threw together the tiles that they didn't know where to get hurt. Um, 
I mean, some of these tiles could have probably been better used in the living quarters rather than that horrible thing. Port. I guess. Nope, that's a backwards turtle. Oh no, no. You don't want to go that way. <laughs> don't want to fall into this hole. Yeah. So you want to go through this port. This port. <laughs> oh, this is the teleport you into space! Whee! Uh... They, they just fall for a while. <laughs> Not for very long. No, they just go back inside. <laughs> How do the teddy bears navigate this? Well, you know, it's well, most of those guys can fly. Those guys can fly. Quite a lot of them can fly. Yeah, but these rooms are enclosed and still have mystery teleporters. That's true, I guess. Because they just blast holes in the gear. This. Well, this is a bit that stumped us for a long time, I seem to remember, in the mm. old days. Not because it's complicated, but because it's difficult, because it's platforming. Yeah. And it's platforming in this game isn't the easiest thing ever. And it's cyclic teeth. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a giant climbing thing, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. At least you can kill everything and it doesn't respawn. Yeah, that's true. No respawning enemies. Plus, so you can't see very far. No, so it's like. Up. Wait for the platform. You can actually stand on the silk part. Ah, uh, okay. If you want. If you want just to get just off hover the on the top. Ride that tooth. Yep. Ride all the teeth. A little bit of a rip your trouser instrument in the background there. Wee wee wee. Danger. Lift shaft. shaft. Not really danger though. No, that tooth can't hurt you. Nope. It's not gonna bite you. Do you not want that key card? You can't. That's an obstacle. Oh. <laughs> you have to hit these green panels to open these. Tang. That was have opened the top one. Let's open the key card one. This is actually a key hut door, right? Yep. <laughs> that should open the one up there. For reasons I don't know. Let's actually go forwards and see what's blocking the way. Oh, a laser gate, okay. Yeah, <laughs> there's something, something quite impenetrable. I reckon there's a secret off the top of the level there. You can get under those. No, I don't think there is. Okay. Because <laughs> you can't go off the top of the level. Watch out! Watch out! Furball things. Well, there aren't any furball things. Also, who are they telling to watch out? Yeah, that is the question. Fluff one. Oh, it's a boss. <laughs> sort of a boss. You don't actually have to kill that guy at all. Oh, okay. He's just there. It's like, here's a random extra boss in case you want more points. I Again, something we didn't quite know what to do with. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you kill one of them and the level ends. It's just not that one. No. It's just, a, it's just a ruse to make you think, oh, I'm getting there, we're getting there. Nope, now we're into the land of lights. Um, Don't forget with the important chain noise. That's actually not bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's an alright chain noise. Pew! Never fear, the orchestra hit is here. <laughs> yes. It's not, it's not a very extreme orchestra hit, not as big as some of the classics. <laughs> Define your classic orchestra hits, ranking of orchestra hits. Well, you know, there's the classic orchestra hit that was used for a very long time. That isn't this one. No. This one's a bit less. This one's, I think this one's quite, quite well used. Like, you know, it has that familiar sound to it. It is a... Probably off a Casio keyboard or something, I don't know. <laughs> Probably. I'm not sure where I'm going now. Uh, oh, there's something we haven't killed yet. Let's go that way. <laughs> That's obviously how you tell where to go when you're the hero of a game. There's something I haven't oh, there's killed. An, there's an arrow, okay. Apparently oh. up is just where we go in general. Well, that's annoying. Can I activate him from over here? No, I cannot. <laughs> Use that booster. Now. No. <laughs> Get shot in the butt. And quite low health. I 
thought he was just going to sit there indefinitely. Uh, Spike can play. Just keep going up. It's actually a tambourine, isn't it? <laughs> totally a tambourine. Nope. Here comes the boss. No, it says I want these. It's not a reclining man. No. And he can snap his hood on you. Sit down. It's very really convenient when you can't see what you're shooting at. Yeah. Just spew bullets into the distance. <laughs> That's a singer. Is that the end? Oh, it is. Mission Why are you trying to evade my peaceful fact? Is that anything to you? It is a sad tale and a race of deformed enemies. <laughs> of course, because that would be your immediate reaction. Elders of the Fluffs. Crack <laughs> the wrongs of nature. Yep. They right. fucked up their planet. Yeah, by trying to unscrew teddy bears. Yep. Obviously. Yeah, the final reconnaissance. That's like... <laughs> I like... won't kill just you. Yeah. The one out of the millions of dudes that I've already been murdering. But I will go kill your family. Sure. Because <laughs> that's what's happened now. So right? you notice that we went from a cargo ship into a space station, which apparently was at the planet, Mm. But now we're still not at the planet, we have to get on a, get on a different shuttle. Ship. Forget. Made of rock. <laughs> Apparently. And rocking horse bears. Oh, coming in there. Well, there's an even less extreme watch hit there. Yeah, we're getting another weird. Oh, I remember those cracks. Ow. Being a pain. Because like some of those cracks become dangerous, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they become laser cracks. <laughs> we, should, we should never say that again. <laughs> oh god. Time for annoying Ooh. jumping. Do, 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 do. <laughs> nice, nice rhythmic pick up there. And also, mysterious mouth windows. Whoa. Wow. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't know what those are about either. Can I shoot these? Nope. Targeting oh, curses. There, there we go. Well, at least, at least the sound is uh, indicating what's going on. Wait for these to get in time. Here we go. Oh, my guy shoots. Shot me in the leg. Oh, red. Damn it. <laughs> oh, negative. One time I did manage to get the key guard. Better go and rummage around in this cargo hold type thing. <laughs> See if we can find it. Damages. It's a big old shuttle. It's not, nope. quite, it's not quite what I had in mind when they say shuttle. Oh, here it is. <laughs> what do you mean it's made of rock? Hmm. Well, and is reasonably sized. Well, they had to make a level out of it. <laughs> no, they could, they, or they could just could have not. How about that? <laughs> or put you in a bigger ship rather than calling it a shuttle. Um. um yeah. Okay. <laughs> you had to shoot the control panel, not the door that time, obviously. Checkpoint. All right, how much more do you want to do? Well, we can stop whenever I guess. Do we get to the end of the shuttle? Yeah, I think uh, the shuttle doesn't have a part two as well. Okay. Doesn't or does? Does. Okay, so we're gonna look see a little bit of the next level, and then we can say, "Screw this! That was still so funk. It's all like this." <laughs> But I still think we should replace more. Oh, you want to come back for part two? Yeah, maybe. Mm. We'll see. It's not like we've got plenty of other stuff. No, it's, 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 it's not like, like we've not got plenty of other stuff. 
<laughs> so it's not like a pressing concern that we might do what one episode is. Oh, we're actually at the bottom of the ship. Yeah. Like the grass layer. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, that's oh we're, we're back, right, we're back there. Yeah. Beer, beer. <laughs> so that was sort of well used sound of, style of sound of yeah. beer. Yeah. <laughs> But because you're obviously not synthing it on the fly, just sort of pitch bends really weirdly. Was there literally nothing up there? It was just another copy of the blue gun, mm -hmm. in case you hadn't already got it. <laughs> so many elevators! Mostly so don't li go so anyway. little point. That already told me to go that way, but. Is that where I actually needed to go? I don't know. I think it's foiling. Foiling! <laughs> foiling! And again, it does look like there is a route above us. Yeah, there must be a loop back. It's one of the elevators. Yeah, one of these must have gone somewhere that I didn't notice. Yeah, take that. Maybe this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> this one randomly goes all the way up. Shot in the face. Shot in the face. Because he's only a face. Because <laughs> he's only a face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I saw space. Oh no, maybe not. No, oh, no, it's just a window. Yes, it's just a window. There's plenty of space out there. <laughs> sure. I mean, that is space. That's how space works. <laughs> Uh, where, where are we now? We're back, in, we're back in the grass. Back at the bottom of the level, it seems. Where they keep all the sandwiches in the grass. Well, there's nothing there. <laughs> this is a fairly pointless room. <laughs> oh, no, no yep, totally there. pointless. <laughs> Probably the arrow, I guess. Is that cracked? Right. Oh, a bomb! You've got eight. But now you've got nine. <laughs> don't know if nine is actually the maximum or not, I don't remember. Well, it's got two digits. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean it's not the maximum. <laughs> I'm sure. They are designing this UI for symmetry rather than... effectiveness. <laughs> rather than logic. Hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> blue? That have blue. Is this actually... Oh, it does go. No, it's a teleporter. I don't know why these ones go ding. Ding! As well as wheel. And there it is. Hanging out by the face. <laughs> Hanging out by a face. <laughs> Just a singular face. I think someone's up top. Rock. The yeah. planet. We're not moving very fast. He's usually on the outside of the. Another planet. Of the whatever the this is. The same planet. There's a shield. Life. Oops. <laughs> the mind bun. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that. There's a lot out here. Well there's a lot of levels, um, not much point. No. <laughs> Maybe that's why they allow you to move this fast. <laughs> so when yeah. you come to giant over there and like that, you can just go whoosh! <laughs> Massive bit of misdirection, you can just sort of go, alright, whatever. <laughs> Just burn for ah oh, your shield. No. Wait, wait. See if we can drop out. <laughs> oh, okay. No, oh, yep, nine is the maximum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not even sure what button the bomb button is. I'm not sure the keyboard has a bottom load button. Bottom a bottom. A bottom. It doesn't have a bottom. A bottom load button. <laughs> yeah. A button button called bomb. Bomb button. It's got a bomb. Oh, a health bar appeared for a minute there, which must be we were at the boss. Yep. Uh, oh, that's another recliner. Oh, oh, it's crashing here. Can you, see? Yeah, you can shoot him from behind. Okay. Yes, you can't shoot him until he opens up. But he has to open up the fire for yeah. some reason. 
Yes. Not, they're not really good at Vision this, this like, cybernetic stuff. The but. pilot skillfully navigates the ship towards the planet's surface. Whoever the pilot is. Unfortunately, the pilot is expecting to sound and he needs to check for his escape pod, because I the aircraft guns. So, the pilot flew him all the way there. <laughs> but apparently he'd already warned everyone that he was coming. Um, and he was like, fuck um, you. <laughs> the ship. And that shuttle's actually really diddy. Well, the escape pod. Oh, the escape pod, yeah, okay, fair enough. Oh, ancient temple. So, um, yeah, is, that, is this what you're referring to as the Aztec, I guess? I guess. <laughs> In my save file, I uh, called yeah. it Aztec, apparently. Aztec 2, easy P. Easy P. I'm going to replace the easy P. I don't even remember what half those days before. No. So that's the whole sci-fi. Okay. Great. You can enjoy the nice little uh, symbols. But apparently, di diag moving diagonally down and to the right is how you leave things. Yeah. It's good to know. Uh, thank you for joining us on this episode of Video Thing. We might do another one of these. Boy, <laughs> we can't be too far away from the point of no win. Yeah, I don't remember. So there's that level. Uh, there's there's a pirate level, I think. What? It gets a bit jazz jack gravity once you hit the planet. It's like, what, <laughs> yeah. what is even going on? Well, as if we hadn't had that already. <laughs> yes, but at least it was like spaceships and stuff. Oh, like contained, rather than just random environments. <laughs> environments. But yeah, I think we'll, yeah, if we do do another episode, we should be able to get to the level that I think is broken, but I've never, we've, I've never been sure, and that's what, kind of why I want to get there again. Because mm. it's like, <laughs> see if we can get through it. Anyway. Yeah. So it, it was a two. It was a level with a two in it. It's like Cyborg Factory, I think. Mm, the actual Cyborg Factory. I, think I'd, I seem to remember might have had the best music in the game, but I've heard it for like four hours <laughs> trying to get through this, this damn level. No. Oh. Yeah, it actually has a credit. attract credits. Hey, with a texture that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> alright. <laughs> the texture of the game, right there. Um, yeah, well, let's cover that up. <laughs> cover that up with some other words. <laughs> yeah, with, some, with some social stuff. You know what to do with all of those. I don't, but you probably do. So do those. Just do them. Do them. Do them. Do them. Uh, yeah, there will be more. Come back. Thank you. And goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Sauce. Sauce. Sauce.